Hello guys, my name's Rob, this is Tecorded, and today we're doing lava. Okay, this is a really cool little material and it doesn't take very long to set up, so without further ado, let's get started with this. I'm going to start by creating a new material, which should automatically add in a principled BDSF shader. And the first thing we're going to do for the lava is create the hot lava itself. So what we're going to do is we're going to add in an emission shader. I'm going to click on that and I'm going to use Shift and D just to duplicate down a copy of this, okay? I'm going to set the first one to 3 and the second one to 4. And I'm going to make the first one a kind of a really hot orange and the second one is going to be more of like a mustardy yellow colour. And then I'm going to do another search here and I'm going to add in a mix shader. The top goes into the top and the bottom into the bottom. Okay, so if we take a look at that, we get this. Doesn't look very good, does it? Well, what we need to do here is we need to add in a color ramp. Okay, and we need to add in a noise texture. We're going to feed the factor into the factor of the color ramp. I'm going to make sure that noise texture is selected and I'm going to use uh, shift through control plus T. I'm going to get the object output and connect it to the vector of the mapping node. All that's going to do is make sure that the, uh, the whole texture is applied like uniformly and over different objects and things, scale should make a difference. Right, so what I'm going to do on the noise texture I'm going to go down to the scale and I'm going to set this to 40 and then on the detail I'm going to put that to something like about 16 that's basically the highest value you can have and then I'm going to get the color output and I'm going to connect it up to the factor of our mix shader over here and that'll give us some variation on the colors of the lava the other thing that I'm going to do is if you look at lava around the edges it's kind of like darker it's like a dark red color so I'm gonna get this mix shader shift D I'm gonna drop this further down the line I'm gonna copy with the same method shift D and emission shader put that into the other input put the strength back down to like one I'm gonna make it red and I'm going to make it fairly dark red. If we look at that by itself, it looks like this. Okay. And then to make it only appear like on the outsides, what I'm going to do is use a layer weight node. Okay, and I'm going to get the facing value and make that our factor. Okay, and you can see what that's done. It's just give like a dark edge around the sides of the lava. Okay, so now we've got that, what we need to do is we need to add like the molten rock effect. And we're going to use our principal shader, that's why we didn't get rid of it before. Okay, and we're going to add in a mix shader over here. I'm going to use the output of this mix shader in the bottom. Just connect that book up to the material output. I'm going to get the principal BDSF, put that into the top. I'm going to get the output of this color ramp, and I'm going to use that as the factor. I'm going to set the base color to be a kind of a light gray. I'm going to set the roughness to be 0.4. And then if we slide this color ramp up the black value, you should start to get something like this. That looks pretty cool, but the problem is it the the parts that have like solidified and curled down don't look like rock. Okay, so what we're gonna do to add that is we're gonna add in a bump. We're gonna connect the normal to the normal. And we're gonna add in a noise texture. We're gonna connect the factor of that into the height. We're going to set the scale to 25. 
we're going to set the detail to 16 and the distortion is going to be 2. Then we're going to come back up to this mapping node that we added earlier and we're going to connect that to the vector. Okay, and if you can see that it's added those uh, nice like swirl patterns into the texture. Okay, now you can play around with this. Um, you don't have to use all the values that I've used. You can play around with the colors and the emission strengths. And also you can, you can change how much of the, the lava is shown. It basically changes how cool the lava looks. This looks like lava that's starting to turn into rock. Obviously this looks like it's brand new, fresh flowing lava. You can also change the scale of this node, which will like break it up a little bit more and make it a bit more chaotic. You know, you can just try different values there, see what you like. As always guys, if you use this tutorial for anything, if you use it in any of your work or anything like that, please leave it in the comments, a link to it. I would love to see it. If you enjoyed this video, please give it a like and consider subscribing to this channel for more videos like this. I, I put up one or two videos a week at the moment.